First, though, new developments in the crash of an Ethiopian passenger jet that led to the worldwide grounding of the new Boeing 737 MAX plane. This as Ethiopians are mourning the loss in a mock funeral. ABC's Daria Albinger reports. Thousands marching through the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa at a funeral for the victims of the Ethiopian Airlines flight that crashed one week ago, killing all 157 people on board. The mourners walked alongside 17 caskets that were empty because, according to authorities, recovering and identifying the remains will likely take months. This, as officials with the National Transportation Safety Board are saying that they're now working the full cooperation of the Ethiopians to transcribe and analyze the information retrieved from this flight data recorder. Ethiopia's transportation minister claims the crash shows a, quote, clear similarity with the Lion Air crash in Indonesia five months ago. Both doomed planes, the new Boeing 737 MAX. If the Ethiopians know that there are parallels between these two crashes, speed is of the essence. Satellite images show that shortly after the takeoff, both the Ethiopia and Lion Air flights experienced drops in similar intervals before crashing just minutes into the flight. It was this data that triggered the FAA to join the rest of the world in grounding the 737 MAX fleet. These airplanes are not going to fly again until everybody, to include Boeing and the FAA, are satisfied that whatever occurred can never happen again. Boeing says it's been designing a new software update since last October's Lion Air crash to address a safety issue. Daria Albinger, ABC News, New York.